I'm Lori Barth from the past, staff, staff software engineer on the themes team here at Gatsby, and I'm here today to introduce to you our brand new blog theme 2.0, which we hope to have out to you shortly. We've seen you all do such incredible things with writing content and sharing content based on the blog theme, and we're so excited to see you do even more. And so there's some new features that we wanted to add for you all. One of the first things that we added and took into account with Blog Theme 2.0 is images and SEO. In the past, when you shared something on Twitter, you'd see that kind of empty document box for an image because they weren't supported. They are now. You have the ability to add an image that's either an external URL or a relative path to a local image in your project. And it'll show up as a featured image if you want, that'll also be used in social sharing, or if you'd rather, you can set social image and you'll have no featured image at all on your post. Really nice, pretty things here. Another thing that we've added for you is we've increased the features available in Theme UI, specifically Theme UI Prism. You now have the ability to add highlight line or highlight start and highlight end comments that will make use of styles that are set in your Prism presets or anything you've built yourself to add emphasis on code snippets that you've created and really drive home the point to your readers or your future self. But one of the things I thought was really important for Blog 2.0 was to make your site a little bit more customizable than it was before. It was always possible, but it required a bit more effort and we wanted to make that easier for everybody. We want everyone to be able to have their site reflect who they are as a person. So one of the things we added was the ability to pass in a theme UI preset. I've already downloaded a couple of them just so we can see what this looks like. So I'm making use of preset dark, which is available to us. This is Gatsby admin at work. Thanks, Max. But what we're doing here is we're setting base styles without any shadowing at all. Moving forward, Gatsby Theme Blog won't be shadowing files in Gatsby Plugin Theme UI. It will be using a preset that we can override ourselves. Now, if you'd like to shadow the existing styles, that's still available to you. You do the shadowing of index.js and Gatsby Plugin Theme UI in your site just as you always have. But if you'd rather just wholesale change things out and not really fuss with local styles, you can do that as well. And you don't have to worry about deep merging your styles the way you did before. It happens automatically for you. If you don't want any preset at all and you just want local styles, you can pass false to your preset. And as we can see, this make, marks a major change in the look and feel of our site just with a single line. But I want to shout out to the community for doing some really cool things. One of my favorite things that I've seen someone do recently is make the theme UI sketchy preset. It's incredible and I encourage you to look it out. But we're gonna make use of it here today. We're gonna pass it as a preset, it's already installed. But I also wanna make use of another feature, Prism preset. Making use of at theme UI Prism and all the presets that are included in there, I can pass whatever I want. In this case, there's a whole bunch of available options, but I'm going to go with Prism Ocadia because I looked it up ahead of time and it's by default quite accessible. The last thing that I want to do is make use of a web font. Now, this sketchy preset is designed to work with this nice web font called Architect's Daughter, so I'm going to grab it. You can also, also pass in the option of a web font URL. So let's put all of this together. Thanks again, Max. And just a reminder, you have the preset that's your base styles, the Prism preset that's any styles that you want to set for Prism. It'll override whatever your base style has. And a web font URL that's automatically including this in the head tag of your project using React Helmet. And here we go. Everything looks entirely different really cool. I particularly love the fact that there's these wonky looking code snippet blocks. Just like that, your site can be completely your own 
and we're really excited to see what you build. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you using Blog Theme 2.0 available soon.